Hey, this is Presh Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. We're going to construct a hexagon as follows. Start with the parallelogram and then join its mirror image as follows. Let these two sides have a length of x. Let this angle B have a measure of 30 degrees. Now mark points P and Q such that BP is equal to BQ is equal to 10. The question is to solve for the cosine of angle PBQ in terms of the variable x. This problem is adapted from the 2017 GCSE exam, and I had many people request me to make a video on this problem going back two years ago. I thank Tom, Ben, and James for suggesting this problem. If you'd like to give it a try, pause the video right now. When you're ready, you can keep watching to check your answer or to learn how to solve this problem. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to need the following formula from geometry. Start with the triangle which has side lengths A, B, and C, and angles A, B, and C, where the angles are capital letters. This formula is always true. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 multiplied by A times B times the cosine of angle C. This is commonly called the law of cosines. But in my research, I found the following interesting fact. In France, the law of cosines is named the theorem of Al-Kashi, as Al-Kashi was the first to provide an explicit statement of the law of cosines in a form suitable for triangulation. I think it would be appropriate to call this the theorem of Al-Kashi or Al-Kashi's theorem. And I'm going to try and do that from now on. So this problem is all about Al-Kashi's theorem. Let's get started. We're first going to solve for PQ squared. Now to do that, we'll translate this length vertically so that we form a triangle. Now using the theorem of Al-Kashi, we get PQ squared is equal to X squared plus X squared minus two multiplied by X times X times the cosine of the angle in between, which is 30 degrees. We simplify this and then we factor this. So we have PQ squared is equal to X squared multiplied by the quantity two minus the square root of three. We're now going to get another expression for PQ squared. Instead, we're going to use this triangle, BPQ. Now focus on just this triangle and recall that these lengths are 10. Now using Al-Kashi's theorem, we get that PQ squared is equal to 10 squared plus 10 squared minus two multiplied by 10 times 10 times the cosine of angle PBQ. We then simplify this and we get PQ squared is equal to 200 minus 200 cosine of PBQ. So we now have two different expressions for PQ squared. We're going to set them equal to each other. We now subtract 200 from both sides and then divide by negative 200 to solve that the cosine of PBQ is equal to one minus X squared multiplied by the quantity two minus the square root of three all over 200. And that's our answer. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.